Hi, I'm Jerry Martin, and I'm making this video as an update to my previous Mixer video uh, with some of the workflow enhancements available in Hubwork 7. If you're new to the Hubwork Mixer, I suggest you watch my previous video. I'll leave a link in the description below. So on a fresh install, Hubwork will go ahead and open this small control panel, which allows you to chain launch some of the larger control panels. If it's not visible, under the View menu, Mini Control Panel, show hide large floating control panels one and that brings up this series of buttons which allows us to very quickly open all of the large control panels that we very frequently find ourselves working in as upwork users for this video however we're going to focus on audio routing and voicing uh, which is where the mixer controls live and similar to hubwork 6 uh, most of the buttons are the same. There is the addition of this tremulant rate voicing, which only applies to artificial tremulants. Um, and again, to briefly summarize, the buttons at the bottom half of the dialogue control issues at the global level, whereas the buttons on top control issues that affect only the organ which is loaded. A couple of new features. One thing that I'm really happy to see is we have many more mixer presets, and it's now possible to click through these mixer presets without waiting for the audio engine to restart. So that allows you to, for example, have different reverb files loaded and to quickly try them out on your loaded organ. Uh, again, the real-time uh, application of that reverb can be adjusted on the fly using this uh, slider here. Now, Hubwork 7 does not yet offer us the ability to copy and paste or export or import mixer settings. So because of that, I'm going to just take a look at how Hubwork is working out of the box, because I believe for the majority of users, the basic configuration will work, and I'll show you how to apply a couple of reverb files. So let's click on the Mixer Reverb button. It looks very similar to before. However, you will notice over here on the left, all of the mixer items that we use close together. The primary buses, intermediate buses, master mix buses are closely linked together uh, under one dropdown. I can collapse preset one, and I can now go to any of my other 128 presets to make adjustments, going back to expanding preset one. Again, if these concepts of uh, primary buses, intermediate buses, and so forth are new to you, do go check out my other video. Audio comes into the mixer at the level of the primary buses, and this is where we can attach speakers for multi-channel output. It then optionally can flow up into the intermediate buses, and finally on into the master mix buses where we get our individual stereo outputs. The primary buses still have to be addressed. I used the term a DNS or lookup table in the last video, and that's accessed using the mixer bus groups button. On the left, we have the bus groups and each of these have, can be given names. And on the right, we have the mixer buses. And if we put these two dialogues next to each other, look at primary bus one through all the way down. These are these mixer buses here. And we can select from these and create groups, which are then used for rank routing. Just briefly going all the way back up into the organ level, when I click the rank routing button, this is where individual ranks can be assigned to a mixer bus group item, which then causes the audio to flow over to the audio mixer. Let's take a quick look at the default routing within Hubwork. By default, there are four output perspectives, which you will have seen in rank routing. By default, the volume of output perspective one is the only one which is turned on. So if I click that in this table, you will see that there are four primary mixers, um, five, six, seven, and eight. If we go over to the mixer, five, six, seven, and eight are these four right here. And right now you'll notice that if we expand this, you will see that they are sending upstream to the master mix buses. So all of that audio is being fused together into a stereo feed and it's going through one, two, three, four, and so on at the top here, uh, master mix bus one, two, three, and four. So if you are just using Hubwork out of the box for headphones or maybe a single pair of studio monitors, uh, you're going to open the mixer and on master mix one, main recording, this is going to be by default connected to your computer's primary output. And over here on the right, we can attach a channel or speaker uh, to that master mix bus. Let's talk about the use case of reverb. 
So I'm actually going to move to Mixer Preset 2. Let's leave Mixer Preset 1 completely untouched for right now. I'm going to close it and expand Mixer Preset 2. And if we go to the main recording, Stereo Mix, let's apply an impulse response. For example, Church 1 ORTF. I can click OK. Let's collapse that, go to Preset 3, Stereo Mix 1 again, apply a different impulse response. For example, Paul 1. Let's do that one more time. Preset 4, Stereo Mix 1, and let's apply Synthetic Chapel. So now I can leave these dialogues open, but I can play with a hauptwerk knowing that Mixer Preset 1 has no reverb. Preset 2 has the first one that we chose, 3 the next one, 4 the Synthetic Hall, and we can adjust the wetness using this slider and we can quickly get back to preset one using button one. I've obviously spent a long time playing with all of this. My hope in this video is to give you some tips and insights. Feel free to drop questions in the comments, have a look at the other video I created, and if you would like to me to go into any other detail or if I can help out in any way, please let me know. But uh, do enjoy, it's an incredibly powerful system and I do think that the version seven upgrade uh, is helpful in terms of workflow and usability. Have fun.